Welcome to the React localization uh, tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to implement and how to switch your app through multiple languages. It means the localization, React localization. For example, let's translate it like to different languages. Okay, this is the video of React localization and it is crucial that whenever you would like to target uh, different regions, audiences, so you need to implement different uh, languages and to switch through different languages your app. But you might say that why we don't use the uh, Google Translator. Okay, so for example, you can come here directly translate that. Let's for example to Urdu translate it. So it will directly translate, but it is not what you want. For example, here you don't want to translate it like this. It is not in your control. You cannot control it. Okay, so that is why we are just manually translating, manually writing the translation of every sentence uh, or every word in our React app. Okay, so let's do it. For example, in this video, we used three languages: English, Pashto, and the uh, Urdu language. So let's start how to um, uh, just uh, use it and how to implement it. So this is our react app in this react app we have just this drop down and we have a message welcome to the react code and it looks like this okay after running you will react app so now let's implement okay the uh to to switch between between different uh, languages so for that we need first of all to create different files yeah the first thing is that we should install the libraries okay which frameworks we would like to install so just come here to the node for just install these two okay npm install i18 next and react i18 next we will use these two uh libraries okay so after installing these two now let's import them so before importing them let's create uh three different files for pashto urdu and english language so let's create a folder inside src i will name it locals inside this folder i will create another folder i will name it english inside this english let's create a file translation that json okay this is a json file and inside this let's uh, define first of all the welcome message the welcome message is welcome to the react tutorial so this is the file for english so let's create another folder which is for pashto language so that is ps and let's create a file inside this a json file and the message let's copy this message i will just translate that to pashto language so let's copy the message of pashto language copy this and let's paste it paste that so after pasting it let's create a folder for urdu also After creating these three files, okay, so we have just welcome message. So I wrote just welcome message. If you have other sentences, paragraphs, so just write them also. And this is the key and this is the payload. So let's now close these files. And these are files for three different languages. Now let's create a file by the name of i18.js. Here we will just initialize our i18 library. So right click and create a new file i18 n.jsx. In this file, we will just initialize and use that library that we have installed. So let's uh, write the code for that. First, let's import i18, uh, just i18, and from uh, I will just name it i18, and from uh, i18 next. Okay, i18 next, and also let's import init react i18 next from uh, react i18 next so after insta uh, importing these two libraries now let's uh, import those three files that we created okay these three files which are inside this locals directory so import an from dot slash locals slash an slash translation json duplicate it for pashto and change this to ps and also Urdu.
that's it after importing these three files now let's write the code okay so we will use this i18 library i18 and dot init we will use init function and inside this init uh, um, the function uh, let's just write so oh uh, yeah first of all we should just write okay instead of this using we will use the i18 uh, init react i18 next function use init react in now we will use init initialize function so inside inside this uh, uh, init let's first of all define resources these resources are uh, the languages that we are defining to so let's the first uh, um, language that we want to define that is english translation translate and is equal to with the english file so okay we will use english file and comma duplicate this for pashto also yes and also assign here ps file and here the urdu file that's what we would like to define inside the resources these are our languages that we will use okay we assign these files to this translation now uh, comma down from the resources we will just assign the uh, default language okay so that is that we will use fallback language i think that is like this the fallback language is english and down from that we will use interpolation interpolation and inside that I will use escape value oh that is false the reason for that is that the react already okay escape the values so here uh, resources yes fall back language okay English enter uh, pollution escape value false that is okay save that and let's export it I18 export default so that's it so this was the initialization of file up i18 next okay so now let's import it inside the after jsx file port dot slash i18 dot jsx just i18 after importing it let's import use translation hook also let's translate translation from react i18 next so after importing this hook now let's use it okay so to use this hook const from this we will get t and um, the second value is i18 n is equal to use translation we will distract these two values t and i18 n uh, we will use this i18 to call a function and this t to just display the message now um, down from that let's use it okay first for example whenever we change language we would like to use this i18 and to call a function change language so let's come here to the select and how we will here we will use on click event and we will just call uh, let's create first of all a function const change language and here we will get uh, get the value of language for example that is language a so inside this uh, function we will use i18 n dot change language and pass lng value that now come here and here we will call this change language uh, function and we will pass eta target dot value so the values are en for english ps for pashto ur for urdu as we created the files and we defined inside this okay en ps and uh, ur for urdu so now let's display the message okay by default we displayed the english now let's remove this message instead of this we will display dynamically the value we will call this t function and inside this we will display uh, just assign the welcome message the message that we wrote this key is for welcome message okay inside these files okay welcome we will use this key welcome so let's now save it and let's go and see it okay so it's running okay so let's 
yeah that is welcome whenever you refresh it so it will display just the welcome yeah, it means the default language is not it so it comes to the i18 next we will just come in the default language so i that is a spelling this is we should add grs fallback language that is this look at welcome to the react refresh it welcome to the react tutorial let's change the language first to look at the react is the clita shara glass or do the react tutorial me khush amati that's how we can create a, a localized uh, application in react js we have used these two libraries uh, i18 next and react i18 next this 18 means there are 18 character between i and n i internet this is international okay so that's this this was the uh application that we created okay multiple languages and we switched between different languages using react JS to target multiple region audiences so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching